Hi, and welcome back to Hogue Health. My name is Mona Cabrera. I am the registered dietitian out here in Foothill Ranch, California at Hogue with the Lifestyle Program. Today we are going to be talking about one of actually my favorite topics, veggies and how to, you know, some simple tips for you on how to incorporate more vegetables into your diet because um, it's not a complicated or complex concept, but I see more and more people not getting in their daily recommended vegetable um, every day and um, largely because of the food system and the diet culture don't really, they're very removed from the simple concept of adding more vegetables into our diet. So we're going to talk about that today. I want to thank you guys all for joining. If you're new here today, hit the bell. That is our subscription button. You'll get notifications when we're coming on live. Every Wednesday, I do a fun, easy, healthy cooking demonstration. You can see all our previous videos on the playlist Healthy Lifestyle here at Hoke Health. Um, go to that playlist and you'll see lots of videos and um, the recipes are a link there as well. So we'll be talking about some simple, easy tips today to help you increase your vegetable intake. And it is recommended that we eat two and a half um, servings of vegetables per day. If you're confused a little bit about serving sizes, um, if you have leafy greens, it'd be two cups equals one serving. Two cups raw equals one serving. Half a cup of vegetables cooked is one serving. A third cup of like red marinara sauce is a serving. Um, so about 10% of the United States adults are getting their recommended daily intake. So let's talk about ways that the rest of us that are not getting them in can get them in. And I really recommend three cups or more per day for adults if your digestive system can handle all that fiber. And you do wanna increase it slowly so you get used to the fiber. Uh, but those vegetables are great prebiotic for our probiotics. Um, and vegetables really come with so much fiber, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, really fighting that oxidative stress that is happening in our cells, but also help regulate our blood sugar levels and um, promote fullness and um, satiety. So um, very important. And people who eat uh, more vegetables every day have decreased rates of heart disease and cancer. So um, very important, right? And it's things that we know, but I want to bring you the tips so we can do this and implement it in our lifestyle. And everyone's going to be different based on your lifestyle and um, you know how busy you are and how much time you have how you're gonna do it but I'll give you lots of tips and a lot of these tips are very are for very busy people um, you know you're working eight hours a day or more and how to incorporate more vegetables so um, it's gonna be very individualized for everyone because some people will ask me like what's the most nutritious you know way to eat like how can I do this like what is the what vegetables should I eat um, to get in my vegetables or to get in my nutrition? Well, it's really different for everyone. So let's talk about some of these tips. Probably give you more than six tips today because there's lots of ways um, to add in more vegetables. If you have any questions at any time or comment, put it in the live chat. I'll pull up my um, screen here and I'll be able to see that. I like this to be interactive. Uh, I just don't want to talk to you. I want you to, you know, talk to me too. Let's have a conversation here and make this fun. For everyone that is joining me on a Tuesday, a beautiful warm summer Tuesday at two o'clock if you're not at the beach, um, or if, even if you're at the beach, you can pull this up and tune in, right? Um, so let's talk about vegetables. So number one, you do want to make them tasty, right? If something's not tasty, we're not going to eat them. It's not going to be sustainable. And we want to be able to eat vegetables every day 
And so we have to make it a sustainable way and a way that we are gonna enjoy it. Uh, so how are we gonna make that tasty? When you're cooking vegetables, roasting, stir frying, add your spices, make it easy. Garlic powder, onion powder, um, Italian spices, add cheese, add a sauce, so um, add a, an oil that you like. So that's gonna add more flavor and then you're gonna like it more. So some people don't like raw, raw vegetables and they do rely on more cooked. So you do wanna make them tasty. Um, and so then you can add those cooked vegetables easy to any dish, whether it's pasta maybe, throw in those vegetables, a stir fry, throw in those vegetables. Um, I really encourage having half of our plate, if you divide your plate in half, fill half of your plate with vegetables. The other half would be in quarters of carbohydrates and your protein sources. So number one, make your vegetables tasty. Um, lots of kids, for example, if we're trying to get our kids to eat vegetables, they'll eat them raw, but they'll like to dip them. So let them dip it in guacamole, hummus, ranch, cheese sauce, whatever it is, as long as they're going to get in their vegetables. And they need less vegetables than us because they're smaller people. But if you're um, starting out with your kids and introducing, um, you know, vegetables, let them dip away. And if you want to dip away too, then you dip away as long as you're getting in your vegetables. Such an easy, we like to dip, right? So make your vegetables tasty. The next one's hide them in foods. Um, I made pasta the other night and I love mushrooms and zucchini in my red sauce, but my kids don't. Um, so I blend it into the marinara sauce. So cook your veggies and blend it in sauces. For example, the pasta sauce, you can hide lots of veggies in there, bell peppers, whatever you like. Um, but so you can blend them in sauces. You can add cauliflower rice into different items and I'm just gonna talk about them. Um, mashed potatoes, if you throw in cooked cauliflower rice, it really adds a lot of fluff as well. You can throw cauliflower rice into your regular rice to add vegetables and increase the volume on your plate and help you control the portion of your carbohydrates there. You can add cauliflower rice or spinach into your protein smoothie or into smoothies, whatever you're making, but they blend and they don't alter the taste or texture at all. Frozen cauliflower rice in smoothies is just like you're throwing in some ice, really no flavor, but you're getting the nutrition, the fiber all the vitamins and minerals that you're getting from your vegetable. So really hide your um, vegetables it is an easy way to get in more vegetables. Um, so let's see. Um, cooked spinach, you can add to, into anything. A lot of people will add that into sauces. Like I mentioned, casseroles, adding lots of vegetables in there, just throwing them in there. And again, not a lot of impact on taste or flavor when we're adding them to sauces and smoothies. So that's tip number two. Okay, so if you're not throwing in vegetables in your protein smoothie, that's a good place to add them. Um, you can, number three, you can use spiralized vegetables to increase your vegetable intake. So for example, zucchini, spiralized zucchini can replace pasta. Um, also spaghetti squash, big yellow vegetable squash that um, comes out like spaghetti. So it'd be to replace a spaghetti, uh, a pasta dish. You would use these vegetables and two cups of zucchini spirals is four serving of vegetables and then if you added some marinara sauce you're going to add in another serving of vegetables so you can already see in that one meal you're getting a lot of servings of vegetables add some vegetables add some protein whether it's your ground turkey shrimp ground chicken whatever protein you want to add there and call it a meal so super simple high vegetable um, meal right there using our spiralized zucchini and spaghetti squash Gonna stop for a second to see if there's any questions. I just saw some of you join in. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, the next tip, use 
for convenience, your frozen and your canned vegetable. And sometimes those are more nutritious than our fresh. Some people are scared of buying canned or frozen, but um, they actually come with a lot of nutrients and fiber. So use those, they're very easy. You won't run out if you always keep them in your freezer, in your pantry. And just look out for the products that don't have sauces and um, they're low sodium. And if you're buying canned uh, PBA, uh, free cans um, and then you can always throw those into any meal and so you will always have those okay so using those um, are just a perfect healthy option for your vegetables the next tip is oftentimes we don't use vegetables in our meals just because it's like oh my gosh I have to wash them and chop them and do all this work when I'm tired and I don't want to do that so the best thing for you to do is number one, buy them already pre-washed and pre-cut. So when you do go to cook, you're just basically throwing them in a pan or roasting them. You know, it's making your cooking time really short compared to having to wash and chop and do all that. So buy those convenience items. They really are helpful and you will increase the amount of vegetables you do eat. The other thing is if you do buy fresh vegetables, when you come home from the grocery store, spend a little bit of time washing and chopping so then they're ready to go when you're ready to cook um, and you'll use them if they're ready there. So um, using those, don't be afraid of those convenience if they're going to help you eat more. All right. The number, the last one I wanted to talk about was um, organic versus not organic vegetables. Some people skip on vegetables because they have been feared that they have to eat organic and then they don't buy them or the cost is too much so they just skip them all together. Uh, I, and it's really just the fear that's put out there because organic is a way of farming and they still use pesticides. So we don't know if it's healthier. So I do encourage you just to buy your regular vegetables and not worrying about if they're organic or not. Um, and that way you will you get your vegetables in, especially if cost, I mean, the cost of organic is significantly more than your regular vegetables so um, so don't fear that you're not buying organic and don't feel that you have to buy organic to have a healthy vegetable with your vitamins and minerals and worrying about pesticides so um, that's the last one so I just want to talk about really quick like in our daily life how to throw in more vegetables so um, I talked about how when you have a smoothie, protein smoothie, throwing in your spinach or your cauliflower rice for that added nutrition, you won't taste it at all. When you're making tacos or burritos, throwing in some sauteed onions and bell peppers, that's an easy one. Always having a salad bag, salad kit, ready to throw in with any lunch or dinner. So it's just ready to go, you don't have to prep anything. Um, if you're gonna have a soup, even summer soups, throw in more vegetables there. Adding a half a cup of salsa to a meal is gonna give you some vegetables as well. And um, anything that you're eating, whether it's a sandwich or any dish, add whatever vegetables you will like. So if you're a sandwich lover, get some lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and just pile it in there. Um, if you're having a protein in a rice dish, maybe just throw some something from the freezer, a frozen vegetable, cooked real quick and adding that to your plate. So that way you're going to increase the amount of vegetables you eat. And it does take time to increase the amount, right? Slowly building on that habit. Um, and if you're not a big vegetable lover, it's like alcohol or coffee, I like to say, because maybe the first time we taste it, we don't really like it. But over time, we acquire the taste, right? The same thing with vegetables. If you're not a big vegetable lover, 
keep trying them, keep throwing them in meals, you will learn to love them. It just takes a little bit of time. So, um, uh, yeah, so I, those are a lot of tips. And just remember, you know, we're always talking about vegetables because of their vitamins and minerals and fiber, lots of folate, lots of vitamin K, vitamin C, the thousands of plant compounds that we get from them that really protect us, the antioxidants, the protective against oxidative stress, and people who eat more vegetables have shown to have less heart disease and less cancer. So they're very powerful. And it's really just finding the way you want to do it and how you're gonna do it. And I hope hopefully some of these tips helped you. Um, and just start in like one meal. So if you're not a big veggie eater right now, well, you would concentrate on what meal you would add it to and usually start with the easiest meal that's the easiest for you. Um, it's usually dinner where people find that it's easier because they're at home and have, you know, can throw in something from the freezer or a canned vegetable or a salad bag. Um, and then you would build on that. And once you get dinner down, maybe a cup or two of vegetables at dinner, it takes time though, then you work on the next meal. And then um, you have time, so um, give yourself, you know, some time to build these healthy habits. And then pretty soon, you know, I recommend at least two to four cups of vegetables per day. Pretty soon you'll be there if you really focus on one meal at a time and building that healthy habit. So I'm gonna take questions. This was a, just a quick uh, talk today on some simple tips to add more vegetables into your diet. Um, I'm gonna take questions if there's anything. I don't see anything coming up right now. Protein smoothies are really popular in the summer because now it's hot and it's an easy, um, refreshing meal, easy go-to. So um, a lot of, I recommend a lot to my patients, just throwing in two handfuls of spinach that's easy to carry at home or frozen spinach or frozen cauliflower rice, throwing that in there and you would even get your vegetables. If you're using that protein smoothie for breakfast or you know a light dinner you're going to be getting your vegetables in that meal very easily all right i don't see any questions i'll be back tomorrow for an easy cooking demonstration here at two o'clock and then dan has an exercise class on thursday at 12 o'clock if you're looking for a home workout that will be on Thursday at 12. All righty. I don't see any questions. I want to thank you guys all for joining um, on this beautiful Sunday, uh, Tuesday. I'm wishing it was Sunday. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, my name is Mona Cabrera. I'm the registered dietitian here at the Lifestyle Program at Foothill Ranch Hogue. If you're ever in the area and you've never been in, please stop in our clinic and I'll give you a tour and show you around and love to meet you all. Alrighty, thank you.